Welcome back. In this video, we are covering how to extract XY plots from our results in Nestran. Okay, so first thing is the concept that we have nodes and elements in our mesh, right? So we need to know which uh, node or where is the node that we want to interrogate. Clearly, we should have already results from the analysis, so we should take a closer look to the areas that we we have interest. Usually is the point where is the max um, stress located or something related with it. Okay, so I now have uh, this uh, point over here. So this is the mesh area that I will from where I would like to extract the data. Okay. Okay, so uh, going into the left in the uh, model tree, we have the XY plot, then we click, um, right click, and then select new. Our model is going to stop showing the colors, by the way. And uh, the first option is, uh, well, the default one is no note. Look at the results that we have access from uh, the option from note. So they are uh, not many, to be honest. So we have the displacement of the node and or the MPC force or the moment, the contact force, maybe uh, applied load. Yeah, OK. Some of them are useful, others uh, requires other type of, um, uh, let's say, method to extract them the right way. But I'm not going to cover that in this moment. I will concentrate on element, which element is a little bit easier. So for example, I'm looking uh, for one specific node. So I will delete the one that was in this case and I will select in here just by uh, after clicking in here, I can come and select the node that I wish to interrogate. So I got here a crazy number. It is the, the number of the, of the element. So uh, then uh, what I should do is to set uh, the values that I want to set uh, the range of the, um, it will be the X. Uh, axis on my XY plot, I will pick the increment number one, and from my uh, second drop down, I will select the 30, uh, not the last one because the last one is the eigenvalue from the buckling analysis that I did. Okay, so, uh, third step is to select the result data. So from here, it clearly I'm going to <laughs> select solid bone misses stress, which is the more typical one. And then I will click on show XY plot. As you can see, here I have the plot. And as long as I move uh, along my line, I start to see the values. So as I mentioned, the XY is the, uh, let's say the time step in this case. And, um, also, this is for nonlinear analysis. Almost forgot it. Okay, so um, here is the plot. And now uh, we have many options. One of them is to click on copy data to clipboard and then go to Excel and just uh, do a paste. Simple as that. We are going to have the data extracted directly on the Excel and we can recreate this table and do fancy stuff as people do in Excel or then take it into a PowerPoint presentation. In this case, I'm going to just click OK and I will click in this plus um, sign and um, by clicking in here, look at the name is assigned to the name field and I will click on save. Now the thing had been uh, saved. I can continue adding other notes if 
that's the case that I wish to add them. So uh, I will um, add a comma in this field, and then I will select other node. Whoop, didn't work. Hold on, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I added the comma and then click again. No, I was not able to. Uh, so sad. Okay, so let's jump into the option for groups. So I already have some groups in here. Let me show you. Uh, this one is doing nothing because it is <laughs> the program reset the result data. So let me jump into the uh, business stress. Now I will click on show. And now it is taking my group of nodes into the plot. And I can extract this data, of course, and make comparisons and stuff like that. How did I got that group of nodes for half these beautiful results? Okay, let's uh, just uh, close this. And this is the final thing that I will show in this video. So I'm just uh, going into the model tree and going down at the very end, you have groups. So you uh, do a right click, select new element group. And uh, in there, what you do is to uh, pick the different notes that you want to analyze, right? So it could be uh, some on the same area or they could be uh, different ones far from each other. You can do the combination that you wish. It is, well, you can rename the group, etc., and then just click OK. So let's jump into the uh, plot and let's see how it looks that that plot. Okay, so I will select group. Now, um, sorry, we need to select element. Don't forget it. Now we have the group of elements. Okay, so group number five, uh, I will select my increment 30. Uh, look at this, it is highlighting the, the group. That's fine. And mm, let's go to the Von Mises stress let's show the curve look at that how easy it was all right hope you find this video useful don't forget to subscribe and like cheers